Hello everyone. On this lesson, I'm going to show how to resolve vectors into their i and j components. I have the diagram on the screen that shows the two vectors. The vector v has magnitude 1.5, angle to the horizontal pi over 6, and the vector w has a magnitude 2 and angle to the vertical axis pi over 6. So to resolve the vector v into the i and j component, it is useful to find the angle. The angle is pi over 6. So I'm going to use this angle and find the i component. The i component of the vector v is the cosine of pi over 6 times the magnitude. So it is the magnitude of v times the cosine of the angle to the horizontal, pi over 6. This is the i component of the vector v. Let's go to find the j component. The j component will be also the magnitude of v times the cosine of the angle the vector v makes on the j, the vertical axis. And the angle is pi over 2 minus pi over 6. Okay, so the so the angle it will be pi over 2 minus pi over 6 and simplifying this give you the magnitude of v times the cosine of 2 pi over 6 which give you a pi over 3 simplifying Simplifying this into pi over 3. And I can write the vector v as the magnitude is 1.5 times the cosine of pi over 6. The cosine of pi over 6 is root 3 over 2 i plus the magnitude 1.5 times the cosine of pi over 3 give you 3 over 4 1.5 times the cosine of pi over 3 Half. J. So you can write the vector V S. Three root three over four I plus Three over four j. Now I'm going to show how to resolve the vector w into the i and j components. So the vector w has magnitude two, and the angle to the horizontal is pi over two plus pi over six. So the i component of the vector w, it will be the magnitude of w times the cosine it makes to the horizontal. So it will be pi over 2 plus pi over 6. So this is a magnitude of 
it is 2 this is number 2 here times the cosine of 4 pi over 6 and you can simplify this and write it as 2 cosine of 2 pi over 3 and the j component in similar way is the magnitude 2 times the cosine the vector makes with the vertical axis which is pi plus pi over 6 so I simplify this as 7 pi over 6 and this is the j component and so you can write the vector as 2 cosine 2 pi over 3 i plus 2 cosine 7 pi over 6 j. You can still, if you want to simplify it, and write it as 2 times cosine of 2 times pi over 3. This is minus 1, so it's minus i then 2 times cosine of 7 times pi over 6 give us a minus root 3 j and this is the vector w this is the end of the lesson if you like the lesson please subscribe so you can see more videos like this one thank you